Hi, I'm Miss Emma M.M. Thank you for joining me here. And today we are going to continue with the best Simpsons episodes. And of course, they're just in my opinion. But I started with season one. Check that out below. <laughs> and today we're going to talk about season two. Season two is a lot more difficult to choose episodes from just because the first season only had 13 episodes and the second season had 22. So it's in line with the seasons today that are usually 20 or more. So my top five favorite episodes, not necessarily the funniest, but my favorite of season two are episode 19, Lisa's Substitute. This is actually a really simple episode in terms of the story, the plot line is just that Lisa has a new substitute teacher, Mr. Bergstrom, at school, as voiced by Dustin Hoffman. And she gets a crush on him, and it's like her first big crush, and it's a teacher. And I think it really works. It just, like, helps with Lisa's character, because it is so early on in the series, and how much she loves to learn. And, of course, she would like somebody who, you know, taught, who teaches you in a very, like, flamboyant, great excited manner and honestly this is the only if not the only one of the only times I've ever thought Dustin Hoffman was attractive and he's a cartoon he is playing Mr. Bergstrom his voice is great I think it makes total sense why she fell for this teacher it's like he's smart characters animated you know to be handsome and it's like melted butter voice and of course can she be happy no she's seven years old but <laughs> it's a good little episode my fourth choice uh, for the season two is episode 11 and that is one fish two fish red fish blue fish which I think is like a classic thing just in pop culture today which is they go to like a sushi restaurant and Homer is like I'm going to order this deadly fish off of the menu. And it's like so ridic ridiculous, but at the same time, it's like, you know you would do it. <laughs> so he orders the fugu, and the chef who's actually skilled to cut it, because if you don't cut it a certain way, it can kill you. And um, it's like a real thing, but not as serious as they make it to be. So <laughs> that guy is not available. So like a new chef cuts it for him. And then um, they find out, and he feels really sick, and they're like, oh, you're going to die. And so he goes out, and he tries to do a bunch of things, and like he's like, I'm going to live my life to the fullest, and he tries to do all this stuff, and then he's like, I guess I'm going to die, and it's going to be okay. And like, I have to live with, not live with it, but I have to like accept it. And spoiler alert, he does not die. <laughs> but it's just like those classic things, and um... You do get to see the hideous fish that they have in Springfield because of the nuclear plant. So that's pretty great, too. My third choice for season two is episode 21, and that's Three Men in a Comic Book, which, hello, Comic Book Man. But um, I will admit Comic Book Man is not quite the same in more recent episodes as he was back in the day. Much more, like, straightforward back then. I do know there's like a recent episode and he's like, what, you forgot, like I'm a jerk. <laughs> Something like that, which is really great because it's kind of the idea. Um, but anyway, so you have a uh, Millhouse and Martin and Bart and they see like the first issue of Radioactive Man. But because it's a collectible, and that's like their favorite superhero, um, only exclusive to the Simpsons universe, you know, he's not like Batman. Like, don't worry, you didn't miss anything if you don't know who Radioactive Man is. But they pull their money together. And you can just see Comic Book Mina's like, Comic Book Mina's just like, no, this is not going to work. It's going to be hilarious. And it is. But it's like hilarious in like the way greed gets to you. And how you wouldn't think you would treat your friends poorly. But like, it's like as adults, like a heist movie, like, oh, you're going to screw them over to get the money. Except this time it's a comic book, so it's a collectible. I guess also like an art heist movie where you want the art because you like art. At any rate, it's a very good episode. Now, episode two, and yes, I do have notes just because titles and things. Awful memory here, but okay, so, oh brother, 
Where Art Thou? And in my head, I keep thinking this one's called Oh Brother, Where Bart Thou? It's not. It's not Bart's brother. Um, <laughs> it's actually Homer's long lost brother. And his brother shows up, Herb, and he is uh, like a big wig at a car company. And he's really successful, has money and all this stuff. And Homer feels like insignificant in comparison to him. And he's like, I'll let you design a car, Homer. And then he's like, he's the everyman. He's the man who's like buying these cars from us. And then Homer just makes like this crazy car. And it's like a cross between like the 60s and an alien spaceship. <laughs> and I remember growing up and I was like, why? Why did this car fail? Because it's fabulous. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, so he may or may not completely bankrupt his brother and ruin his life. <laughs> unintentionally, though. Unintentionally. It's very important to remember. And as great as that one is, my top episode of season two is actually the first Treehouse of Horror. And these are the annual Halloween episodes that The Simpsons is now known for. They're amazing. They are literally my favorite episodes from the series even the ones that are bad, like the newer ones that aren't as great as you would think, they're really great. So, um, this one, and the reason they're called Treehouse of Horror is because in the first one, they're in the treehouse telling spooky stories. So, you're also going to notice that you're going to meet King and Kodos, the aliens, for the first time. Um, this is really great. There's three different stories in this one. There is Bad Dream House, which is a takeoff of Amityville Horror. There is Hungry Are the Damned, which is a takeoff of To Serve Man, The Twilight Zone. Uh, it's a Twilight Zone episode, and that's, like, the famous King and Kodos one where they have, like, the book, and it's, like, how to cook humans. And then they, like, wipe it off. It's, like, how to cook for humans. And it's, like, how to cook 80 humans. Like, they keep taking it off because they don't believe that um, these aliens would actually be nice to them. That There has to be, like, this ulterior motive of where they're going to eat you. And it's just, like... It's one of my favorite sketches of a Treehouse of Horror Halloween episodes. And um, The Raven, which is just like The Raven being voiced over and acted out by Homer and Bart as The Raven. <laughs> so Homer's Edgar Allan Poe and Bart is The Raven. And it's perfect. And it's literally just The Raven being spoken. So if you like Edgar Allan Poe, like I did, even as a maniacal young child, you are sure to enjoy this one. So those are my fav my five favorite episodes of season two. Like I said, a lot harder to narrow down from this season. And as I mentioned in my last video, unfortunately, it's not easy to watch The Simpsons chronologically because they were sold for um, rerun rights and everything so expensively. If you want to watch season two of The Simpsons in its entirety streaming, you would have to buy it from Amazon or probably Voodoo or somebody, but... I'll have the link below for Amazon. And it's 1999 for season two. Now, if you just want to watch some Sim Simpsons episodes legally, Hulu has the current entire season and they charge $7.99 a month. So those are pretty much the episode uh not the episodes, those are pretty much your options. And um, of course, like DVDs and stuff. But if you want to like immediate thing to watch The Simpsons and uh, they are affiliate links below, like I mentioned in the other video, it's like I make a lot of money or anything, but that's where they are, so if you want to check that out. And I will be continuing this, it's only season two, I will be doing all the seasons up to the current season, so I hope you enjoy. And which one of the five I listed is your favorite, and which episode do you think is the best from season two? Let me know, and it's a great excuse to go back and rewatch all The Simpsons if you have time. <laughs> Thank you. Please join me again and like, share, and subscribe this video. You can also check out my blog at MissMMM.com.